Finally, it's here, the Nokia Lumia 920. And in case if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, that's for a very special reason because Nokia, yeah, it's working, is telling us that you can use this um, screen with gloves too. And those tiles are big enough to uh, work with them uh, even if you have your gloves on and those sensors down here are working too. So it's really useful for the coming winter season, I guess. And as you can see, it's really great. Uh, it's working really great. The other thing Nokia is telling us that you have different device uh, colors, not in only black and white, but even uh, yellow or red. So design is in. Especially if you're looking at the device itself uh, with the uh, like on the Lumia 800, like a pillow, uh, it feels like at least, this uh, Gorilla Glass surface over here and this almost gapless um, between these, um, this cover, it's unibody polycarbonate uh, and it's uh, carved back over here so it's like a stressing really great in your palm. Even if it's not a lightweight, you have 185 uh, grams and you have um, 10.5 millimeters here and in the middle 11.8. Uh, so it's a really big one and especially if you uh, are comparing with the um, Galaxy S3, this is just uh, 8.7 millimeters and just uh, 133 uh, grams. And as you can see over here, let me put that right. So, okay, it's uh, a little bit higher, but it's the same uh, uh, size over here. Said that you have uh, 31, 71, I'm sorry, 71 millimeters, and uh, on the Lumia uh, 130 and on the S3 137. So it's uh, the same um, size, but you have it, it's light white against um, the Nokia, uh, in, if you are uh, holding it in your hand. So this is a really big one, you know what you are having, but it's not um, unfriendly, it, it's, it's handy. All right. Okay, let me tell me you a little bit uh, more about the device. It's a, a, a dual core processor with 1.5 gigahertz. You have uh, one gigabyte uh, RAM and 32 gigabyte of memory. But you can't expand this memory. Uh, even if um, Windows Phone 8 is supporting um, SD cards now, uh, you don't have a slot because of this, this uh, unibody uh, cover over here. As you can see, you have uh, just only the um, uh, micro USB and the headphone jack here. And this is the slot for the... Keep it still. Okay. And just only this one over here to put into the uh, micro SIM and that's all. So you have to stay with your 32 gigabyte um, capac uh, uh, memory capacity or even go into the cloud. And um, the uh, special one of this is this um, uh, uh, yeah, this, this lens over here, because it's the first smartphone you have a, uh, an optical stabilizer, not only uh, via, via software. And this is shooting videos with um, full HD. And we have some examples in comparison to the only other uh, Windows 8 phone. This is the HTC 8X. And you have, uh, as you can find in the end of this um, video, we have made some comparison if this optical stabilizer is working. Uh, so uh, please um, stay with us and um, let's go th uh, through the device a little bit more, especially because I wanted to show you the uh, display. Because uh, people might think that they are quite different because you have uh, 4.5 inches and 4.3 inches over here. Uh, but as you can as um, see already, if I'm um, lining them up over here, it's almost the same height as you can see, right? It's just some millimeters over here where the uh, Lumia 920 is a little bigger. It's just the... Oh, oh let, let's... Yeah, that's great. Let's uh, take a photo uh, so you can uh, compare by yourself. And here we go. Oops, stay with me. 
here we go. So that's a picture. Um, just some millimeters over here, but it's only a little bit smaller on the 8X. And if you uh, compare those devices, you know why. So it's a smaller um, uh, cover. So you have uh, the uh, choice between a smaller and a more handy uh, one, that's the 8X, or if you prefer a bigger picture and um, are um, using a bigger smartphone if you want to, um, you have the uh, 920. Those two are uh, really um, uh, devices you can compare with each, which is other, each other. Sorry. Um, especially because uh, both don't have um, SD card slot, both uh, don't have a uh, FM radio, both have the uh, same uh, dual core processor. It's uh, really a hard decision, I can imagine. For this comparison, I mounted both devices on the same uh, rack to hold it just in one hand and to compare it. And as you can see on the Nokia, it's uh, looking almost like taken with a steady cam. Uh, you can uh, see uh, details and it's great to look at. And when I'm standing still again, um, even there's uh, to be seen a difference between that uh, shaky pictures of the HTC and that almost no shakes on the uh, video of that Nokia. So you have to say, this optical stabilizer is really doing a great job. Same procedure on the second scene over here, just with 100%. So you have the full picture, the full impression, how the videos are looking like. And again, uh, you uh, can look at those of the uh, Nokia and you don't want to to those of the HTC because it's so shaking, you're feeling uncomfortable if you're looking at them. So again, uh, this optical stabilizing is great. Loving it.